barbecues to you. Barbecue is versatile. Barbecue as a word itself has multiple meanings. You got barbecue like the apparatus, the barbecue grill. You got the food that comes off this apparatus referred to as barbecue. And then lastly, you have the social event that surrounds the apparatus and the food referred to as a barbecue. So you could barbecue barbecue at the barbecue. That's versatility. But today on Epic Meal Time, we're gonna put that to the test because we're making a barbecue twinkie. Did you catch those birds fly by? Yeah. <laughs> it was like a John Woo <laughs> moment. <laughs> I always fancied a Twinkie growing up. I'm not saying I like ding-dongs, I'm just saying, hey, if you've got a zinger, I might be willing to trade for a ho-ho. And now what that means is we've got plans to host this hostess sponge cake, except remove the sponge exterior and replace it with a cornbread crust. But wait, there's more. Yup, that's right. We're gonna exchange that interior creamy filling for some nice barbecue delicacies. But wait, there's more. What? Because if there is, you didn't inform me. No. I just need another snowball. Oh, like a hostess snowball or you want me to call my guy? So when it comes to seasoning and marinating your meat, you want to make sure that you get full coverage of the seasoning and also it's important to make sure that you add enough sauce so the meat can stay juicy as well as with barbecue sauce, it has some sugar in it so while cooking, it caramelizes. Oh shit. Whoa, Whoa. dad, whoa, dad, there. This is not fire, pancake. Fire, Here at Epic Meal Time, we're all about a blazing grill and smoking up some meats and eating meat while blazing up. Barbecuing allows man to cook amongst the elements while using the elements to cook. Controlling all these elements got me feeling like Captain Planet when I barbecue. Ha! It's a give and take with barbecue. You have to maintain your barbecue if you want your barbecue to maintain you. <laughs> oh man, look, it's on fire. They, they were on low, I'm turning them off now. You gotta keep moving them. Uh, yeah, move them where? Dan, what'd you do? The Twinkie, originally called Little Shortcake Fingers, then changed to Twinkie Fingers, then they dropped the finger aspect and just called the Twinkie, and that makes sense to me because fingers are disgusting. Put your finger in your mouth right now. Ah. It tastes sour, gross. I'm glad they dropped the finger aspect, making it just a Twinkie. Every single year, 500 million Twinkies get sold. That's over 46 million pounds of Twinkies. Should we be proud? So Dan thought it would be a really good idea. While we're making a barbecue Twinkie, what would a barbecued Twinkie taste like? I think it's gonna be really good. Pretty good. Maybe it'll even make it crispier, because right now it's kind of soft. Maybe it'll remove some moisture. The heat will remove some moisture, making it like uh, dryish. That guy you could ah. himself for five bucks at a state fair. I'm selling that for five bucks. Game changer, bro. Game changer. Ideas are just keep coming. It's just keep coming. Like, what are you gonna do? So? Yeah, it's fine. You get a bit of that char flavor. I don't know if anyone's ever done this, but I win. I was right that it would be drier. Right here we got over 37 cups of cornmeal. 15 cups of flour. We need over 64 cups of milk. This is gonna be like the biggest cornbread ever. No other cooking show on the internet or the world is bringing you cornbread creations this big. We pop that baby cornbread Twinkie exterior into bake mode and let that become a full grown cornbread Twinkie exterior overnight. Good morning, mother suckers. We got this big old cornbread exterior out now, and this bad boy weighs about 46 pounds, and that's four we stuffed it with delicious selection of barbecue meats for its interior. No need to waste the inside. That's straight up tasty cornbread. Now let's talk meats. We've been grilling up nonstop all night long, making all different types of meats from beef to sausages and chicken. We got no choice right now but to make the biggest, sexiest barbecue twink known to mankind. We have the chance right now in this kitchen to make culinary history, so we don't plan on pulling any punches, baby. We go hard with our commitment to this crazy ass recipe. Pop the top on and slice it down the middle with a chop to see how it looks with x-ray vision. Damn, it looks good. Cornbread's not hype. Or basically, barbecue in a bite. A lot of barbecue in a bite. Barbecue to go. Easy to travel with. So you like the cornbread? I love cornbread. The cornbread is actually, surprisingly, for cornbread cooking for eight hours, still moist, not dry. Yeah, the no, meat's still juicy. Look at all these juice, look at that. See that sausage? Look, it's gonna pour right now. See that? Uh, I'm digging the sausage there. 
I, I say barbecue Twinkies a pass. Yeah, steak's perfectly cooked. See that? Zero issues whatsoever with the steak's perfectly cooked. <laughs> oh man, look, it's on fire. And I'm not afraid. Adding extra sauce doesn't really hurt. <laughs>